day five of our pre-season tour of Austria, had a chance for the lads to warm down and cool down in the nearby lake after their recent exertions. It's hard to describe this floating inflatable commodity, but needless to say the lads embraced it, especially the more acrobatic members of the party. One Calla perhaps doesn't quite fit into that category, though Masir Paul Harris certainly does. For others, it was a case of sticking to the basics, looking after the muscles, and then chilling while the rest of the party showed off. For dinner, it was a spot of outdoor dining for the lads, able to enjoy the superb climate out here in Austria. After lunch, and the boys were back on the training pitch, a lighter session today after the weekend's competitive action. Next up as part of our feature interview package in Austria is the Gallic named Adam Lafondre. Alfie, as he's known to his teammates, scored in City's 3-0 victory over Toyota Durez on Saturday, and the former Rotherham and Reading hitman told Cardiff City player exclusively that he's eager to continue that good form due in pre-season and into our championship campaign. Well, obviously, it's, it's nice to score early and, and, and get your first goal out of the way. Obviously, the league's what, what obviously matters and what matters most, but um, as a striker, like I say, getting on a run early doors is, is pivotal in, in, in what you'll do later in the season. Obviously, a, a bit cooler conditions now, but it certainly looked uh, tough out there on Saturday. The boys that play in early and us must have been must have lost, lost about two thousand calories. It was um, it was boiling, and you know it's such a contrast from then and now. It's you think we're in two different places, but you know it's uh, it's a good a good training camp here, and I think the weather's probably helped us a little bit more than it being hot. Obviously, you know yourself, a new player to the squad, a few other additions in the striking department as well, of course. Certainly seem to be all settling in quite well though. Yeah, I think um, the lads have made it easy for us to integrate. Um, I think I've, I've come in and, and gelled pretty well. Um, I know a couple of lads from playing them against them before and a couple that I've played with before and, and obviously it's, it's a lot easier for someone like me to come in than, than anyone else who, who doesn't know anyone. And how important are, are weeks away like this, you know, obviously getting in, there, getting in here early and, and having a, a good week with, with the lads you'll be playing with? Yeah, of course. It's, I think it's great for the team bonding and, and obviously it's just getting in that routine of you're going to be with these for the, for the rest of the season and that's what you've got to build, you've got to build that spirit and especially in the championship it's going to be tested at times because you're not expected to win every game because it's such a hard league and you're going to need the resilience of the boys together and, and all, that, all that stuff to help you through it. There's no doubt in the quality City have in the striking department with Federico Makeda, Yavi Guerra, Joe Mason, Nicky Maynard and Kenwin Jones all showing what they're made of during this past week. But that competition is something that Alfie is looking to embrace. I think the more the better, it brings the best out of you. And, and obviously, um, the amount of goals it looks as if we've got um, is, it can only be good for us, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm, I'm a double figures player, I'm sure Nicky's a double figures player, Joe Mason's a double figures player, Kiko last season was double figures, Javi Guerra double figures in La Liga. So you know what I mean? I think uh, we can expect big things from us, obviously, if we, we're provided with the chances. And the aim this season? Promotion, isn't it? Yeah, just by hook or by crook, um, let's get back to the Premier League. I think everyone wants that. It's the promised land, as they say. And you know, I think I've tasted that two years ago, and I, and I want that again. Brilliant. Well, uh, we know you're a bit of a golfer <laughs> from uh, some of your tweets. Uh, did you watch any of the British Open in some of your downtime on Sunday? Yeah, yeah, I managed to get it up on the iPad, and I was watching it come in, and I was hoping for Matteo Manassero to have a bit of a better finish for me to get each way, but. It didn't quite materialise, but Rory ran away with it and fully deserved it. Well, time to prove your worth and see if you can... Uh, can we just have a, that? I did get it second time. And the lie isn't great and this isn't my 8-iron. There's all the excuses out already. That's a good start. No worries, thanks very much. Thank you. Champion. There are plenty of chances to see the Bluebirds in the coming weeks ahead of the season kickoff. If you're not one of the travelling party out here in Austria, then there's an opportunity to watch the boys in an open training session at CCS this coming Saturday. Check out the website for details in the coming days. On Sunday we travel to Yeovil Town for our final away pre-season fixture before a home clash against Bundesliga club Wolfsburg at the stadium on August the 2nd. We'll leave you with some fantastic footage from day 5, including some world-class goalkeeping from Simon Moore, Joe Lewis and, of course, 
David Marshall. Make sure you follow our Twitter updates on Wednesday for the game against FK Ankar Pim. Kicking off at 5.30 Central European time, that's 4.30 for you at home, with match highlights of that game to follow on Cardiff City Play. Yeah.